Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to stabilize footage for TikTok. For those of you that use your phones or your whatever and you're filming, here's what I got. I got some really ugly footage. Here, I'll just hit spacebar and show you what I got. Really bouncy, brutal footage. Just stabilized. It's crazy, right? It's just all over the place. You're bouncing like you're in a f fun castle, right? And you skip through right to the end. It's just bouncy all the way. How do we stabilize it? Nice and easy. I'll show you step by step. The first step here is you want to go into your effects panel right here and then just write in stab <laughs> or write in warp stabilizer. This is the this is what we're looking for. Drag and drop that onto the footage. When you do that, it's going to run some calculations very quickly here. And while you'll while it's just quickly finishing up these calculations, there's a couple options. One, you can either have this on smooth motion so that you have some motion in the camera or no motion. No motion is the equivalent of having it on a tripod. So keep that in mind. Secondly, the method that you use is there are four different ones. The one that it automatically selects is subspace warp, but this one doesn't always work very well. Let me show you. Here is the current version. It's actually not as bad as I would have thought, but what I like to do is I generally will go for a position scale and rotation instead. So it basically, it just stabilizes for, for these things. And now let's hit spacebar, show you what happens. I mean, it's still got a little bit of jiggle in it, but when you compare it to the original shot, it looks nothing like it. And I'll just show you here. If you take this off, this was the original shot and it's deliberately horrible. I mean, it's as bad as footage as you could possibly imagine. It's got a guy or a gal running down the hallway scared out of their mind. It's, it's just stock footage. But if you apply Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro and then you change the stabilization method and try out a couple of them, that's all you need to do, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.